<laughs> What's up, people? It's J Bar. It's freezing. It's Colorado. Cold. Cold snap came in. We had some snow, not much. But hey, here's part B of that video. I literally just took the second half of it and I'm posting it now. This is about how to take your uh, track and automate it once you have. It goes to last week's video on low pass filter and the controls that we have well you can automate those controls and so I literally cut this video off of the last one because my whole thing is I want to get you the information in 10 minutes or less so this is the second half of that video so you're gonna hear me saying hey I need to hurry I want to make it in less than 10 minutes well I just cut this part off and if you're wondering why I'm saying it it's because it's really truly part B of last week's video so I'm gonna continue my frozen walk here and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I've got some big stuff coming that I think a lot of people will be down with. Um, but those videos will be coming out soon. I'm going to film them this weekend. So enjoy this for now and stay tuned. Thanks for liking. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, please share. Thanks, guys. Now, let's say you wanted to do a whole kind of beat. So, like, I'm going to do option click and I'm just going to make like a big long sequence of this, right? And let's say you want to perform this. What you can do is you can go in and hit A. A is going to bring up your automation pane. You can see I programmed some automation on this one, which if I don't run out of time, because I want these to be 10 minutes or less, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. What you can do is go to touch on here. Whoops. Uh, click on, instead of read, go to touch. And when you hit play, what's going to happen is every time you turn the knob, it's going to actually record that. So let me show you. Um, when I hit play, you can see it's recording both because I'm moving both my cutoff and my frequency and now it's actually overwriting because I have my cycle on so let's say I don't like what I did right I can right click on that automation controller and do delete all automation and it will reset it let's take the cycle off I'll hit the C key and let's start that over so oops I don't want to record I'm just gonna in this case because touches on it'll record it when you hit play. So, so let's say I'm just trying to phase this in. All right, and so I got this kind of thing going. I'm just gonna go eight bars with this. But you can perform this thing essentially, right? And then when you're done, it records all of your automation. And so when you play it back, oh, make sure you take touch off, put it back on read. When you play it back, now you have that performed cutoff and resonance. Now, I feel like I'm getting up on 10 minutes. I haven't been timing myself. I might be there now. Um, but if you want to hang in there, I'll show you how to automate this too. I'm supposed to do every video in 10 minutes or less. It's a little goal I have for myself. But let's just see. Uh, let's say you want to automate that. You, don't, you want it to be nice and smooth, just like this one. So what you do then is, again, you right-click, delete all automation, and that resets it. I go back, by the way, you can read through these. There's ways to delete just one that you could make, you know, just the cutoff visible and it will delete visible. But I could, um, you could delve into that menu and see there's different options. But I just deleted everything because I want to automate this. Now, the way that I do that is I want to make sure that I have my cutoff frequency as the thing I'm automating. And I just double click on this thing. So when I double click, it makes a point. I'm going to cycle this because I want to hear what it sounds like cycled. And I have two points now. Now I could drag them around, and you'll see this is my cutoff. Let's see what it sounds like. Let me turn my resonance down a little bit. And it looks like nothing's actually happening. Um, let's try it again. Put a double click in. Anytime you don't want one, um, you can, whoops, click on it, hit delete, take that out. I'm going to double click here because I, I want it to be similar to this. Now, once I have my points in, what I can do is, oh, why is that all crazy? Um, I don't know, guys. I might have to cut this part off, but let's just do it. Let's just finish the job here. So I'm going to go to my automation curve tool, and if it's my secondary control, i got to hold down the command button, and you'll see that the tool highlights, and I can drag this curve any way I want it to be. I can make S curves. By going back and forth, up and down will give me bow curves or whatever you want to call them. And I kind of want it to look similar to this. So let's see how that works. 
It doesn't sound like it's actually affecting my cutoff. So I'm not quite sure what's happening. Oh, there it goes. I just didn't have it low enough. And I think if I had my resonance up, it'll... So you could, you could definitely hear it. The resonance was just too low. And you could program the resonance too, but that's a way to automate it. Now, let's say you wanted to drag that beat out, okay? And you wanted to drag that automation out. Oops. Control Z or Command Z, I should say. Oh, it looks like I lost my automation. So, um, let's see. Yep. So I'll just redraw that real quick. And actually, what I want to do is, before I do the automation, I want to get rid of these. Um, yeah, cool. So what happens is, once you have your automation drawn in, and I'm going to do this quickly, guys, because I'm probably over 10 minutes now. Uh, hold down Command, get my curves going. I want to get rid of this leg here. Command to get my curve tool. I've got my curves. Now, once you have it set up on one, you can option click and drag and it will bring that automation. So if I wanted to make a whole track and like actually have this as a sequence, I could do that. There's ways to get rid of the automation too. Plus you can just highlight um, your automation points and get, uh, whoops, get rid of them if you wanted to do something like that. And that's it guys, this is all native to Logic. So at first I was kind of bummed because I wanted to get this drum effect on one of my tracks and didn't know how. And uh, that's it. So this is Jay Barr with Bar Creative. I'm way over 10 minutes, but hopefully that was helpful to you. See you next time. Later.